Okay, we're going to fix the dreaded OE error. Pump filter clogged. The unit that I have is the Kenmore Elite 41 Double Out 2. Looks like this. And I'm getting the error right up there. This is apparently the same as the sleeker looking 41 double out three it's a little bit newer which is apparently the same as a bunch of lgs and maybe even some samsung's i don't really know but eh, there you go if you have one of those maybe this video will help you but this is an all in we're talking the all-in-one washer and dryer it washes and dries okay let's get started So I suspect the drainage clog is probably in here somewhere. Here's where the drain comes out. I don't know what that is, but it goes down here to the pump area. So let's get this off. Oh, gross. There's the problem right there. Get this out of here. Watch out. It's going to pee all over you if you're not careful. Uh, yeah, here's our clog. Uh, it's this and there's more, there's more crud in there too. See if I can show you. See all that? Gross. If you look in there, if you uh, put a flashlight on the other side and then spin this, you can kind of see what's in there. Kind of how if you, when you're driving past a fence, you know, you're moving fast and you can only see through the fence because you're moving really fast. We well, can kind of see through the holes too and get kind of an idea of what kind of grossness is in there behind the tumbler. Let me get this crap out of here. So gross. Ugh. It kind of wants to wrap around that heating element. See this heating element here? There's a heating element, element that goes all the way around here. And it's all wrapped around that. It's hard to get in there. Maybe I should make like a tool that can reach in there. But I am getting it. Just, you know, just have to be willing to deal with how gross it feels. All right, so that's looking a lot better. Okay, now that that's nice and clean, I know that's not going to be a problem anymore, but last time I had this error, it was actually this pump right here that was bad. Since I got this thing down and I'm already working on it, I'm going to go ahead and replace that pump. This pump is only like 35 bucks on Amazon, and they have a lifespan of about one to two years, so I would be kind of, kind of a dummy not to go ahead and replace that. So I'm going to do that right now. I already ordered one. I'll put a link in the description. This thing is held on with three bolts. One here, one here, and then one way back here. This came from the other side, from the pump itself. The black one was kind of on the top. Brown one was kind of on the bottom, okay? Make sure you get that right, all right? And then over here on this one, black is on top, blue is on the bottom. If you want to call that top and bottom, just remember which way they go. That's what's important. Those mounting screws I were telling you about, one here, one here, and one here. I just I just put them back in there real quick so you can see that there's three of them that you kind of have to get to. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. I don't I don't know if it's bad or not, but I'm gonna take it off anyway, and we shall see. Oh, you know what? This isn't gonna come off with this steel bracket here, so let me take them off. Here's the pump that I care about. There it is. Uh, it feels okay. I guess it's not broken, but <clears throat> I put this, I replaced this two years ago. And when I replaced it, I had, um, it had been in there for almost two years. So this thing's probably going to die soon. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Here's the new one. Hmm. Okay. New one. Old one. Oh, that one. Okay, you know what? That feels so much better. When I turn this, look, it's got snap to it. This one does not have that snap. It's all... It doesn't work too well. So it could very well be that this was throwing the error, the overflow error. I don't know. But I'm not even going to experiment. I'm just going to... Um, yeah, I'm just going to put this new one in and solve all the problems. Hmm. How does this come off? 
Does it just slide off, or how does that work? Ah, there we go. Yeah, it just kind of comes out, doesn't it? Just like that. All right, so that means this one goes like this. There we go. And one thing I did not show is I already took this into the sink and cleaned, cleaned in there real good. So, yeah, it's nice and clean now. Okay, this went like this. When you put it back, you need to do it in the same orientation, in the same orientation as this other one right here. All right, got it back on. Good as new. I already plugged in this, these wires here to the pump itself, right here. Oops, that's not which way that goes. route these wires here they kind of went through these little fork things here and then down this black wire went on the top this blue wire went here uh oh this rubber grommet fell out I have to put it back in there we go that's better these don't have to be super tight they just need to be somewhat snug and finally this last one remember goes way back here Okay, and finally, the drain line here needs to route back down underneath all this through the front. All right, time to put our... Now this one over here is a bit tricky because the thing is over the thing, right? And this is compressing it, so I'm going to have to hold it open as I put it on. I really like this. There we go. That's how we do that. Make sure it's on all the way. Yeah. As with all things, use moderation. Don't over tighten it. And there it is, works like a champ.